Around the world, 300,000 women are dying every year from complications of pregnancy and childbirth. They are delivering in conditions that would be unimaginable to most of us. We Care Solar is bringing a reliable, sustainable source of electricity packaged in a small suitcase. It has lighting, it has power for communication devices, it has a fetal monitor. This is a solar panel that fits inside the solar suitcase. It has everything that's needed by midwives and doctors to be able to perform care around the clock. My first passions was actually in the arts. At a very young age, I was taking dance classes, piano lessons. There's a funny story that one day I came home and tried to sing for my mother, and she, I said, Mom, don't I have a great voice? And she said, no, thank God, we can't afford any more lessons. <laughs> As an 18-year-old, that was a pretty traumatic thing to go through. And I just kept asking questions. At one point, my doctor said to me, if you have so many questions, why don't you become a doctor? And literally the next semester, I took my first pre-med class. I met Hal Aronson in 1999. It was complete chemistry from the moment we met. He was creating solar education programs for youth. He was always experimenting. We had solar equipment from one end of the house to the back. I entered a program for maternal and child health care. I had no idea at the time that so many women were dying from complications of pregnancy and childbirth. I had anticipated that the hospital might not have a lot of the supplies I was used to. What I hadn't anticipated was that a hospital couldn't have electricity more than 12 hours of each day. It means that midwives were using candlelight or kerosene lanterns. It meant that doctors were rushing to do C-sections during daytime hours. There was one night where I was watching as a woman was fighting for her life. Her kidneys were no longer functioning. She was unconscious and the room was in pitch darkness. And I was in the corner of the room saying, why am I here right now? And it occurred to me that maybe the reason that I was there was because I do have access to resources and I could tell their story. He created a kit that was pre-wired that I could pack in my suitcase and basically take back with me as a demonstration kit to show the doctors, here's what we're thinking. These are the kind of lights we're thinking about. We're gonna bring walkie talkies, what do you think? And so he had to make it small enough that I could smuggle it through customs in Nigeria. And that's how we started out making a suitcase size system. Well, I unpacked the suitcase and the doctors not only appreciated it, they said, can you leave this here? And I said, no, no, no. And they said, you don't understand. This could help us save lives right now. Right. What does? And this is the plug we usually use. In 2010, I got a call from the World Health Organization, and they said that they were doing a project in Liberia, and they needed to equip 20 health centers with lighting and power, and they asked whether or not we could bring the solar suitcases. Now, I was thrilled that the World Health Organization had called us, but we had never made 20 of anything. These lights have been designed to be good enough to do surgeries and they're very powerful. We make a really robust product, but we need to think about the people part of the equation. How do we make people not afraid of this technology? How do they use it? If they can't fix it themselves, who can they call? The battery, if you want to put it in, you have to off the switch, why? Why? To make it more safe. This light uses four watts. We provide the education, we provide the training, and then we provide the support so that after we go, we'll know these, these solar electric systems will be lasting for years to come. Each time there's an issue, we get to make a decision. Can we help? Somebody said, well, what about the earthquake in Haiti? And then they said, well, what about Rwanda? What about Nepal? What about the typhoon in the Philippines? 
I want to get to the point where we no longer need a We Care Solar, where every health center has the power that's needed to save lives and that women can have safe childbirth wherever they live. I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world trying to solve a problem that I believe we can solve in my lifetime. There you go, you're getting all wrapped up. So this baby is about five minutes old. Yeah, welcome to the world, little one. And there's no more light.